Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today is something very different to usual. Uh, this is probably the thing that I am most excited about in my entire life. Um, so today, the Dr. Afra audiobook released. And for those of you guys who don't know me too well, Dr. Afra is my favorite Star Wars character of all time. I have loved her for a couple of years now, like three, three so years now. Um, I, she's... She means a lot to me, like a lot. Um, I have read her comics, I collect her figures, I cosplay her and everything about her just, it literally, she means so much to me. And I have begged and begged and begged for such a long time that I want like a movie or a show. And we have recently just been blessed with an audiobook. Um, now the audiobook follows her comics and I'm really, really excited. Um, I, I haven't listened to it at all. My, this is kind of my reaction to hearing her voice for the first time ever because, because I love her so much and because she's never really been brought to life before, um, which is what I tried to do with my cosplays, but she's never been like officially brought to life. So the fact that I'm about to hear her voice for the first ever time, it's, it's just mind blowing to me. It really, really is. And I'm honestly so excited. It's currently 9am. I've been up since like 7am. I was up really late last night as well. Um, hoping it was released at midnight and stuff, but I am so tired, but this is going to be so worth it. I am so excited. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna just get into it and I'm going to react to hearing her voice for the first time and probably a couple of other voices. Um, I know there's a couple of characters in there um and we'll we'll just kind of see what happens we'll see where this goes so let's, let's go <laughs> okay so i don't think i'm mentally prepared for this at all i i really don't think i'm prepared um i'm kind of terrified as to how this is gonna go i'm really really terrified for good reasons obviously i'm terrified for good reasons but oh god i'm so nervous i'm so nervous why am i so nervous Oh, okay, 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 okay. I went to press play for the first time. I'm not ready at all. Not ready. <laughs> a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, Star Wars, Dr. Afra, by Sarah Kuhn, performed by a full cast. I'm nervous, I'm shaking. <sighs> Begin recording. The first thing you need to know, this time, I'm dead. Definitely, definitely dead. I've almost died before. So many times. More lives than a Tuka cat. That's how Savatube Nakes used to describe me. And this story, the one that ends with me definitely dead, it all starts with one of those times I almost died. So, let's begin there. <laughs> The most epic space battle you've ever seen. Lasers, explosions, things that go pew pew. Oh and my right in the middle of it all, our intrepid heroine. That's me, Dr. Chelly Lona Affleck. Oh God! Rogue archaeologist, weapons expert, droid reactivator extraordinaire. And did I mention she is also extraordinarily beautiful? Raven tresses that are usually a tangled mess because they're stuffed under a very stylish aviator cap, complete with rakish goggles. Brown eyes that spark. Oh, yes, God. Spark with a yearning for adventure. Intriguing electro tattoos running down her right arm. I love this. Foolish youthful mistake or sign of an irrepressible daredevil. That's none of your business. Let's join her as she makes her grand escape from a gang of nefarious pirates trying to gun down her glorious ship, the Archangel. <laughs> Damn it! Hyperdrive down. Life support hit. Okay. Okay. That's 
fine. Nothing to I worry about. I can't believe this is happening. Activate auxiliary systems and get the crew working on it right away. Oh. Hey, Maz Kanata. Maz. Always an honor to speak to the galaxy's most, and I mean most, I legendary tear. pirate queen. Oh, tears you know, everywhere. I can't tell you the number of times I've dreamed of this moment. Just the two of us on a calm while trying to shoot each other into the void. <laughs> I can't imagine why you're shooting that little old me, though. I swear, you've got the wrong girl. Spare me your legendary... She sounds so and I mean legendary falsehoods, Afra. Now my life support's failing. I probably only have a few breaths left in me. I'm going to die out here because you're convinced I took something from you. She's and so worse dramatic. Yet, that I have some sort of nefarious plan for you it. You underestimate how well I or anyone who's spoken to you. So shiny. And just... Sitting there, nestled next to the microdroid dust. I swear, they started talking to me. Wanted me to take them home. <laughs> I like the shiny. So I obliged. I ah, like the shiny. <laughs> the astromech scraps? They're just trash. <laughs> yeah, I love trash. Watch what happens when I place my shiny new astromech bit and... Just so in my central operating system. But then, an unexpected twist. Curator Utami Zane, incoming TIE fighter. It was time to take some initiative again. Apologies, Curator. We have no scheduled visitors, deliveries, or. Then who? <gasps> Lord Vader! This is a quarantined world. Uh, treaties clearly state... Uh... Enough. Whoa. Lord Vader? As in the one and only Darth Vader? I thought he was a myth. A boogeyman parents used to get their unruly younglings to behave. As someone who regularly fights death and wins, he'd never sounded that scary to me. Yeah, just but you wit. Even I had to admit. He cut a pretty intimidating figure in all that ominous black armor. He just raised a hand and did one of those force woo-woo magic things, sending the annoying security <laughs> droids flying. Force woo-woo magic. Oh, I said enough. That voice is great. The security droids fired on Vader. Vader gazed at me, hanging off the ledge. Dr. The Matrix Afra. still clutched protectively in my free hand. I have need of you. Hand. Dr. Afra. I have need of you. <laughs> I know, right? Darth Vader. His lordliness, feared throughout the galaxy, just straight up murdered Utani Zane without a second thought. Came here for me? <laughs> Probably most people would have let go of that rickety ledge thing and taken their chances with a very long plunge to a most certainly painful death. <laughs> but I'm not most people. He extended a hand. I took it. There was my door. Lord Vader, I accept your amazing offer, whatever it is, and I'm pleased to be at your service. <laughs> he didn't say anything. Of course he As didn't. As I had learned, he often didn't say anything. As he stared back at me with those dark, empty pits, the eyes of his helmet, I just knew this was the beginning of the most important important partnership of my life. Hell yeah! Because, while well, I'm used to finding my door, and there wasn't any time to tidy up or put out tea and cookies. Wait, does Darth Vader eat tea and cookies? <laughs> does Darth Vader eat, period? <laughs> my father had told me all kinds oh of stories God, about the Sith. she's asking the real his questions. His main focus had been moldy old Jedi artifacts, but I'd always been more fascinated by his tales of the dark side. Welcome aboard the Archangels, Sir Darth Vader. Big fan. Huge. How can I help? This is private business. I recently destroyed some of your reactivated droids. I knew my boy was going to wake up. And I knew he was going to be magnificent. Hell yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. I am zero, zero, zero. Or triple zero, if you prefer. Oh. I am a protocol droid, specialized in etiquette, customs, translation, and torture. He sounds so good! Charmed to meet you, I'm sure. May I shake your hand in the polite manner of organics? Oh! Nice try, Trip. But I already know you better than that. 
And I know how you feel about organics. Madam, I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> I live to serve you blood-filled sacks of flesh and have nothing but the utmost respect for- Override, imprint master on all individuals present. Codename Afra and codename Vader. Ah, better not shake hands then, Mistress Afra. As there's no one here to murder presently, how may I be of assistance? <laughs> oh, all this murder talk. Yes. You really know how to charm a girl. A girl who happens to be a blood-filled sack of flesh. I love Blastomax because they're so cute! Squat, domed, rolling around on their little wheels. <laughs> they look like astromechs. <laughs> but when you really get to know them, well, they pack a major punch. They just want to murder. Maybe I feel a kinship with them. Some people have also described me as cute. <laughs> they have no idea. Oh, I Here's do. your first official task for your new master, Triple Zero. You are overly fond of speaking. I'm nervous. I make my living reactivating weapons like this pair. And you make me nervous. There's something about tall, dark, and able to kill me guys that make a girl nervous. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> there was a time when I had armies at my beck and call. You're what I've been looking for all my life. Whoa. That just gave me shivers. Sam. These cards are yours now. Sam, honestly. What else do you need? <laughs> I so, how do you feel about a secret mission to Geonosis, Lord Vader? I have no feelings regarding Genosis. <gasps> Good. Then we need to move. I won't let you down. Of all the people in all the galaxy, Vader sought me out. He recognized my skills, my talents, my potential for greatness. Almost no one else saw that in me. Not my mother. I see carted me it off to you. some desolate wasteland of a rotting space rock to keep me out of so-called danger. Holy shit. Okay, so, um, that, I'm, I'm, like, honestly, obviously, during those reactions, I didn't really speak much because I was just amazed by everything that was happening. She's finally here. We have a voice. And, oh my god, it sounds so good. She sounds perfect. I didn't really know what to expect because I hadn't heard, um... I, I purposely, there were snippets that were posted online and I purposely didn't listen to them because I wanted to hear it, you know, on release. Um, and I'm very impressed. I'm very, very happy. And hearing, actually being able to hear her interact with Vader and hearing Triple Zero as well. It's so good. They sound so good. And Triple Zero sounds like the murderous droid that he is. I love it. I love it so much. I'm excited to see um to hear more of their adventures um i'm very very excited so this is uh, this is very closely following the comics like this is the comics um and i'm i i'm for those of you guys who haven't read them i highly recommend i mean I, you can listen to this um at the same time as well but i highly recommend getting the comics as well i have um basically you can't really see them but i have all of them lined up and i've got the droid figures and all up there and I honestly, I can't recommend her enough. She is wonderful. And I hope you guys, if you guys are listening to her for the first time um, or reading her for the first time, I really hope you enjoy it. That's all I want is for more people to know about her. She's so underrated. She's so, um, because she only, like I said earlier, she only has comics. So um, she, you know, she's like the most badass bitch in the galaxy and nobody knows about her. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, her and her adventures uh i'm thinking i might react to more of this i'm thinking i'm gonna record my whole reaction to the whole audiobook and just upload different snippets because there's gonna be a bunch of characters that are showing up including luke skywalker um i think han and leia might be in this as well um and there's a bunch of other stuff that i would like to you know react to and listen along with you guys so um i'm gonna see if i can do that but we'll upload this one for now and yeah thank you guys for watching and, um, yeah, peace.